and we're going to be champions, we can't be fair weather people. We've got to be there when the chips are down. We've got to be there when the smiles are on our faces. True champions fight every day. True champions fight all the time. True champions fight when they're tired. Anybody can go when you're on the mountaintop. But we got to go when we're down in the pocket. And we're going to the top. But the march to the top starts right here tonight. This is the year of the Raptor. Go Raptors! Go! And we're going to strike! And we're going to strike! And we're going to strike again! This could get ugly. Here we go, we're all set to get this one started. It's a Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference matchup between Florida A&M and Savannah State. A high end over end kick from Jace Bonador. It's gonna be fielded by an up man, 15, 20, 25, and still on his feet, 30, 35, and finally run out of bounds at about the 40 yard line. So Savannah State will open with excellent field position. It was Daquan Daniels, the freshman, 5'10", 190 pound running back out of Statesboro, Georgia with an excellent return for Savannah State. Let's take a look at the Savannah offensive lineup. At wide receiver, it will be Jeremy Moore. The left tackle, Mike, is Afolabi Ayangbayi. And the left guard is Billy Burt. The center is Chidi Arwenzoroa. And the right guard is Devon Stainrod. Uh, the right tackle is John Clowers, and Simon Hayward is the other wide receiver. It's Antonio Bostic out of Quincy, Florida, and quarterback, 6'1", a 202-pound senior. He throws the quick out out here to number five for uh, Savannah State, Cantrell Frazier. And Frazier is going to move it out to about the 46-yard line and make it second down and about five to go for the Savannah State Tigers. Alex Simmons will be one of the running backs, L Reginald Beals, the fullback, and the other wide receiver is Chris Drummond. All right, here we go. Uh, Savannah State, Bostic throws back, trying to set up the wide receiver screen, but the Rattler defense was all over that play, and it was Patrick Aiken coming up, making a sure tackle, and he's gonna lose yards on the play and make it third down now and eight to go for the Savannah State Tigers. Savannah State coming out in the spread offense with a couple of quick throws from Bostic. Have a big third down and eight now, and that has been one of the weaknesses of this Rattler defense, the inability to get off the field on these third downs. All right, Antonio Bostic this time loads a spread formation with one setback, and here we go. Bostic looking to pass, steps up in the pocket, dumps it off uh, to the back, coming out of the backfield, a ball pops out. He's going to be ruled down. The pass was caught by Number Simon 13. Haywood, 5'11", 185-pound senior out of Savannah, Georgia. And it's going to bring up fourth down for the Tigers and about two to go for Savannah State. Looks like the punt unit will check on for Savannah State. Yeah, Cantrell Frazier, keep the sophomore who caught the uh, first pass as the leading receiver for the Tigers. He has 19 catches on the year 20 now for 282 yards. All right, Devontae Terry Johnson will retreat deep for the Rattlers to receive this punt. Preston McCarthy is on the punt for the Tigers. 13-0-1 to play and the first quarter and Savannah is going to punt. They get off a spiral. Devontae is going to feel this one at the 10-yard line and a, he raises his hands for the fair catch and the Rattlers will begin first and 10 for our first possession of the afternoon from our own 11-yard line. It will be uh, Dwayne Harvey uh, at one flanker, Zary Patterson, the left tackle, Keontae Cash, the left guard, Kevin House, the center, Reginald Turner, the right guard, Doug Almondaris, the right tackle, Michael Etheridge, the tight end, James Owens, uh, actually Al Tariq McBurst is going to get the start today at tailback, Damian Fleming at quarterback, and it's going to be Caleb Brown, the fullback, 
Linworth Lennon, the other wide receiver. Brown and McBurst in the backfield. Brown in an offset eye. And on first down, we hand it off to Al Tariq McBurst. Al Tariq changes field, changes direction. And he's going to pick up a couple of yards on first down. Looks like he's going to get about three, make it second down and about seven to go for the Rattlers of FAMU. The Savannah State defense will have David Abiyu on one end, Micah Blunt from Stone Mountain, Georgia is on the other end. Inside, they have Christian Martinez at one tackle. The other tackle, Javante Mobley from Jacksonville, Florida. All right, 12-21 to go here in the first quarter. And the Rattlers with a second down and about seven yards to go from our own 13-yard line. They give it to Al Tariq once again, and Al Tariq fights his way to the 15-yard line. It's going to bring up third down and about six to go now for the Rattlers of Florida a &M. The Savannah State linebackers, Travion Ashford, 6 feet 190 out of Ackworth, Georgia, and Marquis Smith, their leading tackler, 6'3", 225, only a freshman from Prince George County, Maryland. The middle linebacker is Justin Dixon, 5'11", 210, from Duluth, Georgia. The corners, Brandon Bell, number 20, and Wayne Johnson, Keith, who has tremendous speed. The safety is Gregor Bound, 5'11", 190 from Tucker, and Ansley, Alfred Ansley from Jacksonville. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming sends Linworth Lennon in motion to check the coverage on third down and six. And Damian fires over the middle. That pass intended for Linworth Lennon. Linworth wanted pass interference call on the defender, John Wilson, but no flag. It's going to bring up fourth down for the Rattlers and send in Colby Blanton to punt for the Rattlers of family. It was good tight coverage, and I don't know if Linworth should not have gotten a pass interference penalty. But well, the Rattlers go three and out, and Kobe Blanton is on to kick the ball, and Keith Kobe Blanton has been struggling a little bit on the year. All right, the Tigers of Savannah State going to send Frederick Fluker deep to receive this punt. And he's going to be tripped up and dropped right at about the 48, 49-yard line. Oh, actual is number 22, Daquan Daniels. And Montavious Williams got down there to make the stop. So the Tigers will begin their second possession of the evening from their own 49-yard line. That FAMU defense has James Brodus and Frank Mays at the ends. The nose guard is Michael Lovejoy. The linebackers are Michael Ducree, Akil Blunt, William Smalls, and Bobby Jackson. All right, here we go. Rattlers bring the blitz. Boy, and ball's loose again. the ball came out. And the Rattlers have it. And FAMU is going to recover the fumble and take over possession. That was a vicious hit. Fumble by number 25, John Ojo. It was John it was Ojo. John Ojo. It was Daquan Daniels, Mike, who uh, was the ball carrier, but he was really rocked. And it's John Ojo, the senior, who we talked about and we need a big game today, came up with a big play. Rattlers now have the ball in excellent field position at the plus 48. A chance to draw first blood. All right, Casey Glines is wide to the far boundary for the Rattlers. As we get set, it's uh, Linworth Lennon over there, and it uh, looks like Dwayne Harvey over here to the near side. Offset eye, Orange Helmets are down for Damian Fleming. Now Caleb Brown moves in motion, and on first down, we give it to Al Tariq McBurse, and McBurse inside the 45-yard line of Savannah State, down to about the 44. And on first down, Al Tariq is going to get about four yards. It'll make it second down, about six to go for Rantler first down. Yeah, Justin Dixon, the middle linebacker, stepped in. Keontae Cash is only a freshman, but he may be the best blocker on that FAMU offensive line. Not a tall guy, only about six feet, about 300 pounds, but he has very good feet and is a great blocker. All right, second down and six for the Rattlers. Ball resting at the 44-yard line of Savannah State. And the Rattlers this time. Play action gives it to Al Tariq. He's got a lane. Al Tariq bounces outside, and he fights his way down inside the 45, the 35-yard line, that is, of Savannah State down at the 34. That's a Rattler first down, and it'll move the chain. And you see the Rattlers are making an effort to keep the football on the ground and grind out some yardage, and they do this time. McBurst with a good cut right at the line of scrimmage. All right, Rattlers with the first down and 10 now at the Savannah State. 35-yard line, trying to put together a sustained drive. Here we go. Casey Glines wide to the near boundary along with Linworth Lennon working the slot. 
In the backfield, it's Caleb Brown and Al Tariq McBurst. Brown the up back, Al Tariq the eye back. Al Tariq gets the call. He's going to be trapped behind the line of scrimmage this time and going to lose yards. That's credit that defensive front for Savannah State. It's Davey Adebiyi, uh, Javante Mobley, Christian Martinez, and Micah Blunt on the stop for the Tigers of Savannah State. And actually had a big uh, number 75, William Broadbent, in that time at the nose, a bigger guy. He really uh, knocked the center back into the backfield in that play. Second down for the Rattlers now. About 12 to go for a Rattler first down. The ball is going to be resting at the Savannah State 37-yard line. Yeah, we got the officials with a discussion here. Didn't see a flag, but uh, let's see what they're doing. As they now go over to the... Rattler sideline, and they're having a conversation with Coach Earl Holmes. Well, Mike, well, we've got a moment. Uh, a good-looking contingent of Rattler fans have made the trip from Tallahassee here to Savannah to support the Rattlers. I mean, a really good-looking uh, group, Keith. Uh, as we know, the Rattlers travel well, but uh, down the road to a beautiful uh, Savannah where the weather is gorgeous, a lot of Rattlers made the trip down. All right, here we go. When play resumes, it'll be second down for FAMU, and about 12, maybe 13 to go for a Rattler first down. And the discussion now with Coach Holmes is over and, and we'll reset. Yeah, and, and we can't see the uh, play clock, so that may be one of the discussions. Yeah. All right, Rattlers break the huddle. 9.44 to play here in the first quarter. It's no score in Savannah. And this time the Rattlers send Montavious Williams and Linworth Lennon to the near boundary. Casey Glines is wide to the far side, and Damian Fleming wants to pass. He's got a blitz coming. He's throwing downfield for Casey Glines, and it's going to fall incomplete. I give some credit down there. Covering for Savannah State was Brandon Jackson Bell, and it's going to bring up third down now for the Rattlers and about 13 yards to go for first down. Third and long, the Rattlers in plus territory. Be interesting if this is actually four down territory with the Rattlers inside the 40 yard line. Let's go, Tigers fans. It's third down. You know what to do. All right, third down and 13 for the Rattlers. Montavious Williams and Linworth Lennon once again working the near boundary. Casey Glines is isolated to the far side. Orange helmets are down for Damian Fleming. In the backfield is Al Tariq McBurst, and McBurst releases. As Damian fires across the middle for Montavious Williams, who makes the catch and moves the chains all the way down to the Savannah State 20 yard line. That's a Rattler first down. Move those chains. Give the credit right there, Keith, to the Rattler offensive line. Damian Fleming with all day to wait for his receivers to clear their zones. And a good catch, and it keeps the drive alive. And Mike, as we saw the receivers running their routes, Montavious came clear across the middle, but Al Tariq McBurst was also wide open on the underneath route. Here we go. Rattlers with a first and 10 now in the red zone for the first time this afternoon here in Savannah, Georgia. Casey Glines isolated to the far boundary. And this time it's Montavious Williams. And they give it to Al Tariq, Kurt cutting back, and Al Tariq takes it down inside the 15 to about the 14-yard line. And on first down, Al Tariq McBurst is going to get six yards, and that's a good-looking run on first down. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Al Tariq McBurst is what you call a cutback runner. He is looking for it. Uh, one of the things that they criticize him on a little bit is just pressing the hole on the play side, but he is looking for a big play, and he gets seven on that first down. Second down and three to go now for the Rantlers. Ball is marked. At the 13-yard line of Savannah State, 8.24 to play in the first quarter. The Rattlers are threatening inside the red zone. Damian Fleming with two backs now. Al Tariq McBurst and Caleb Brown. Damian going to run the shovel pass, and Al Tariq takes it down to the 10-yard line. He's going to be real close if he did not get the first down. Looks like they're going to say he's about a yard short. They're going to say third down in inches with the nose of the football touching the 10. Third down and inches for the Rattlers. And, Mike, this has been one of the best-looking sustained drives we've seen the Rattler offense put together this season. Since the first game. You're, right. You're exactly right, Jerome. All right, here we go. Offset, I, Damian Fleming. In the backfield, they give it to Lamont Bice, and Bice inside, he's gone. Touchdown, fam, you. Lamont Bice walks in from 10 yards out. Yep, they stacked the line of scrimmage. Keith Hay had brought everybody up, and once Bice got through the line, there was nobody left from 10 yards out. 
Vice goes in with 7.24 to go here in the first quarter to give the Rattlers the early lead. That is a good-looking drive by the FAMU offense. Carson Royal on to hold, and it'll be Chase Vonador doing the extra point honors. Rattlers are set. Here's the snap. Placement kick is airborne, and it is no good. And so with 7.24 to play in the first quarter, our score, FAMU 6, Savannah State nothing. We'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. All right, Savannah State ready to go. First and 10 from their own 25-yard line, moving left to right or heading toward the south end zone. And it's Antonio Bostic, 6'1", 202-pound senior out of Quincy, Florida, at the controls, he has an empty backfield and a spread formation. Bostic looks to pass. He tosses it out here for number one for Savannah State. That's Arshon Spaulding. And Spaulding is immediately tackled by Akil Blunt. And Mike, Akil Blunt is stepping up his play with every week. Yeah, Akil having an outstanding season so far. Again, the Tigers now going with the, no, they got into the center this time with one back. Quick offense. Here we go. Bostic gives to his running back. Let's see if that was Daquan Daniels again. No, it was Loregino Bills, 5'11", 187-pound sophomore out of Jacksonville, Florida. And he is ridden down by a host of white FAMU jerseys. And it's going to bring up third down and nine now for Savannah State with 6.40 to play in the first quarter. The Tigers trail 6-0. Here we go, Antonio Bostic with two backs in the backfield, receivers to either side, and he's looking to pass. Wait, now he pulls it down, he's going to run, and that is an outstanding tackle as he tried to pull away from the point of attack, uh, the Rattlers. It was number 54, William Smalls comes up and makes the stop. And again, the Rattlers force a three and out. They send Terry Johnson back for this punter again. The Rattlers can't come out of this with good field position. Good start for the defense. And, Mike, it was really it was Curtis Alexander who made the tackle, not William Smalls. But it's going to bring up fourth down. And once again, we said the Rattlers defense needed to get some three and outs. Going to force the Tigers to punt. And it's Preston McCarthy on to punt for Savannah State. And it's Terry Johnson deep to receive for the Rattlers of FAMU. We got whistles. Curtis Alexander, Keith, is one of those players that uh, Earl Holmes was talking about, one of those youngsters. And a delay of game is going to be the call against Savannah State. So it'll back them up five, and uh, they'll kick it again. Savannah State has not scored in the first quarter this season. You know, we were complaining about our slow starts. They have not scored a single point in the first quarter all year. All right, McCarthy on the punt. And Terry Johnson deep to receive for the Rattlers. A family good snap. And McCarthy gets off a nice kick. Johnson this time is going to field this at the 37-yard line. 40, 45, midfield, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Touchdown. Terry Johnson goes in from 63 yards out. Yeah, not a lot of height on that punt more of a line drive type. There was nobody close to Terry Johnson when he made the catch, and he was able to get down the right sideline right in front of the Rattler bench. And just like that, with 5.23 to go here in the first quarter, the Rattlers have jumped out to a 12 to nothing lead. Terry Johnson, 63 yards on the punt return. Now let's see. The Rattlers are going to elect to go for the extra point. Chase missed the first one. Carson Royal will hold. Here's the snap and placement. This time the kick is up and airborne, and it's good. And so with 5.23 to play here in Ted Wright Stadium, Savannah, Georgia, our score, FAMU 13, Savannah State nothing. We'll be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. Chase Vonador with an end-over-end kick, fielded at the five-yard line, 20, 25, 30, and finally bumped out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. It's Daquan Daniels again on the return for Savannah State. And uh, another good return for 
Savannah. Yeah, another big return. Savannah Keith out beyond the 35-yard line. And again, sets the Tigers up in pretty good field position. Well, coming up on halftime at FAMU, our Glendale Presley will talk with the FAMU chapter of the Dream Defenders, Milani, Melanie, Andrade. And that's coming up on halftime at FAMU. Okay, the Tigers ready to go now. First and 10 from their own 37-yard line, 5.15 to play in the first quarter. The Rattlers up 13 to nothing. And the Tigers send receiver in motion. This is Bostic trying to turn the corner. And Bostic going to be bumped out of bounds at about the 39-yard line. That's going to be a gain of two. It'll be second down and about eight to go for the Tigers of Savannah State. William Smalls gave chase for the Rattlers of FAMU. Yeah, it started out looking like an option play, but eventually, though, the tailback got in front of his quarterback and threw a block, short gain on that first down. All right, Bostic this time goes empty backfield, triplets to the far boundary, isolated receivers here to the near side, and now they shift a receiver in motion, checking the Rattler coverage. Bostic going to throw the quick pass, bounces off of the intended Tiger receiver, Number five. Cantrell Frazier, and uh, almost, almost, Picked off by Rattler, but it falls incomplete. Yeah, he's been their leading receiver. Kenneth Trail Frazier, 5'10", 180-pound sophomore for, out of Fulton County, Georgia's landmark high. Third down and eight. Rattlers with another chance for a three and out. Antonio Bostic this time again sends Twins to the far boundary. One setback. And Twins bunched. Fires this pass out here, and this time it's caught by Cantrell. No, they're going. He made the catch, but they're going to say he caught it out of bounds. It's going to bring up fourth down for Savannah State. Yep, and once again the Rattler defense forces a punt. Preston McCarthy will check on the punt for Savannah State, and it will be Devonte Devonte Terry Johnson deep to receive for the Rattlers of FAMU. I want to say hi to Kristen Miles, Kayla, and Taylor. They're all listening down in Tallahassee on 96.1. I want to say hi to Lori, and she's way out in San Diego, but she's listening, tuned in on iHeartRadio. All right, here we go. High kick. Terry Johnson makes the catch at the Rattler 27-yard line, and that's where the Rattlers will begin. First and 10 with 4 minutes and 31 seconds remaining. In the first quarter, and the Rattlers holding a 13-0 lead. Yeah, one of the Rattler blockers actually backed into him. Good job of our concentration there by Terry Johnson to pull that punt in. The Rattlers with three first downs so far. 19 yards passing and 52 yards overall as we've gotten off to a good start here in the first quarter. James Owens checks in at running back. And the Rattlers send Linworth Lennon far to the far boundary. Receiver wide over here to the near side. And this time, Damian under center gives to James Owens. And Owens hit and dropped. If he got back to the line of scrimmage, no gain on the play. He's going to bring up second down and about 10 yards to go for a Rattler first down. And again, Justin Dixon, Keith, who's only 210 pounds, smallish for a middle linebacker. But he obviously is very aggressive. Got in to make that play again. Second down and 10 for the Rattlers. Ball's resting at our own 28-yard line. Casey Glines now and Linworth Lennon go wide to the far, far boundary. And over here to the near side for FAMU will be number 83, Adamson Felix. And this time we give it to James Owens. And Owens shows that burst of speed and fights his way across the 35 out to about the 37-yard line. It's going to bring up third down and short for the Rattlers. Third down and about a yard to go for FAMU first down. And they bring in the bigger back in Lamont Bice uh, for this short yardage play. Third and short for FAMU. Let's go, Tigers fans. Get up. Hey, get loud. 6093, Rattler Boosters, Mission of Tradition. Lamont Bice breaks through the line. He's in Savannah State territory all the way down to the Savannah State 42-yard line, and that's way more than enough for a Rattler first down. That'll move the chains and set the Rattlers up in Tiger territory. Yeah, good blocking again at the point of attack and a good hole for Bice. That's the Rattler running game. Keith getting cranked up here. 42 yards rushing now in the first quarter for the Rattlers. 
coming up at halftime. It'll be Rattler Sports Network Central from New York City with Trevon McCall and Will Ayers Jr. I want to say hi to Corbin Miles listening up in uh, New York City, the Big Apple, as they call it. Here we go. This is James Owens, and Owens spinning and turning. Going to be hit at the point of attack. May lose a yard on the play. Make it second down and about 11 yards to go. Our guy TJ is working the board down in Tallahassee on 96.1 jams. And TJ, we want to thank you for the job you're doing. You know you're sounding good down in Tallahassee. Happy to have you on board with us on the Rattler Sports Network. Two minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Loss of one, second and 11 now for the Rattlers. Casey Glines go wide to the far boundary. And it's Adamson Felix and Linworth Lennon working the near boundary. And in the backfield, it is James Owens. And it'll be Owens again. Owens back across the original line of scrimmage down near the 40-yard line. It's going to bring up third down now for the Rattlers. And about eight yards to go for Rattler first down. Yeah, actually got a little more of a push than thought, but it's third down and eight. And uh, Rattlers want to keep this ball going. Passing situation here. Protection so far has been good, though, and that, yeah. that is one thing that's helped this passing game so far. Third down and eight for the Rattlers. Casey Glines. Adamson, Felix, and Linworth Lennon all working the near side. Now Felix flips to the other side. So he'll be the isolated receiver with Glines and Linworth working the, the near boundary. And uh, Damian Fleming is going to fire this pass downfield. And there are penalty markers on the play, Mike, and I think uh, Damian already knew that we had caught Savannah State in the neutral zone on the snap. Yeah, it's not going to be a first down, but it is going to make it a much shorter yeah, third down. play now. Yeah, a Lamont Bice kind of kind of running play now. Yeah, Good job by Damian, though, knowing that uh, he had the penalty already, took a shot downfield, although the pass was incomplete. And, Mike, let me say, you know, in the loss to Morgan State, you know, there, everybody was disappointed about that loss, but we learned some things about our team uh, and one of the things we learned is that Al Tariq McBurst was ready to go and we also learned that Lamont Bice was our guy when we needed tough yards when we needed and yards. we're seeing that uh, play out here tonight against Savannah State. Absolutely. Tigers fans, once again it's third. Third right. short now for the Rattlers. About three yards to go for the first down. Minute seven to play in the first quarter. Rattlers leading 13 to nothing and threatening at the 35-yard line of Savannah State. So it will be Lamont Bice in the backfield with Damian Fleming. And this time we throw the pass, a slant to Casey Glines. He makes the catch and goes down at the 26-yard line of Savannah State. And that will move the chains and give the Rattlers a first down. And, Mike, that's that's a good play call. And you keep, keep the defense guessing. You got the big back in the backfield and throw the slant. Yep, the big guy, Glines, used his body to shield the defender off that time and makes the catch and keeps his drive going. Minute one to play now in the first quarter. Tigers trying to get a new defender in, had to come off. James Owens in the backfield, and it will be James Owens. Owens makes a cut, and he cuts back, tries to spin his way down to the 20-yard line. He's going to go down at about the 21, and it'll bring up second down for the Rattlers. But a good run by James Owens, Mike. It's going to make it second down and about four. He's going to get six on first down, and we're seeing now uh, what we've thought all along, what Earl Holmes has been saying all along, you have to win at the line of scrimmage. You've got to win at the point of attack, and running the football helps you open up the rest of the offense. Adams and Felix to the far boundary now, and Montavious Williams near side. Montavious shifts in motion, and we give it to Lamont Bison. Boy, Bice is here. That's a good looking tackle, Mike. Lamont shut down in the backfield. And let's see, I, I don't know if that was By number 25. Was number 20. Marquis Smith. Smith once again, Mike. 6'3", 225, a freshman from Prince George's County, Maryland. A solid lick on Lamont Bice. That's going to be the end of the first quarter play with our score. FAMU 13, Savannah State nothing, and we'll be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. What's that? As 
as we go to second quarter action. Rattlers leading 13 to nothing. Rattlers now be heading left to right or toward the south end zone. And Damian Fleming gonna isolate Casey Glines to the near boundary. And Sin Adams and Felix and Linworth Lennon. This time uh, it's Damian Fleming. He's gonna keep it. Fleming's gonna fight his way inside the 14 and down 15 yard line down to about the 13 yard line. And that's gonna move the chains. A good looking run that time by quarterback Damian Fleming. The Rattlers finished the first quarter with 66 yards rushing, 27 yards passing for a total of 93 and 19 plays. They were four of five in third down efficiency in that first quarter. Savannah State only with 63 yards total, only five yards rushing. All right, here we go. Rattlers with a first down and 10 at the Savannah State 13 yard line and threatening. Casey Glines goes wide to the far boundary. To the near side over here is Linworth Lennon and Adamson Felix. We've got a timeout. And the Rattlers take their second charge timeout of the first half. Don't miss the Earl Holmes Show. Sundays at 11 on ABC 27 in Tallahassee and Wednesdays at 3 on Sun Sports Statewide. All right, Rattlers sent to go with a first down and 10 from the Savannah State 13-yard line. We can get a first down at the Savannah State 3. Damian Fleming isolates Casey Glines. Twin receivers to the far boundary. Gives it to Lamont Bison. No, Damian keeps, and Damian inside the 10, down to about the 8-yard line. Good bit of play faking that time, Mike, by the Rattler quarterback. And he takes it down inside the 10, down to about the 8-yard line. It's going to make it second down and about 5 to go for a Rattler first down. Yeah, the actual, Rattler's actually showing a little read option, something new that we haven't seen this year. Second and 5 from the 8-yard line. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming this time going to send three receivers. Casey Glines, Adamson Felix, and Linworth Lennon all to the far boundary. Lamont Bice in the backfield. And this time we give it to Lamont Bice. He turns the corner and fights his way down to the five-yard line. It's going to bring up third down and about two yards to go now for Rantler first down. It's going to be just short as they run behind the big tight end. On the tackle. Also number 10, Justin Dixon. Two yards to go. Justin Dixon, Keith, is having a whale of a ball game third defensively down. for Savannah State's going to be third down and two. Rattlers well inside the red zone with the nose of the football at the five. And once again, the Rattlers on the march with a 13-0 lead against the Tigers of Savannah State. Casey Glines wide to the far boundary. Linworth Lennon to the near side. Lamont Bice in the backfield. And we're going to throw the fade pattern for Glines. And Glines, boy, came. Did he come down with it? it. Touchdown, fam. You, uh, boy, an acrobatic circus catch. Casey Glines tipped it as he fell to his back. The ball came down right in his belly. And that's a touchdown. Fam, you who goes to 19-0 on a great catch by Casey Glines. Yeah, they were fighting for the football, Keith. Casey Glines using that big body of his was knocked away, fell on the ground, as you said. The ball falls right to him, and the Rattlers have jumped out to a 20 to nothing, like 19 nothing lead. All right, here we go. Snap placement. Chase Bonador's extra point is on the way, and it is good. And so with 12.53 to play in the ball game in the first half, our score, Florida a and 20 and Savannah State nothing. We'll be back after these words from our local sponsors, on the Rattlers Sports Network. Casey Glines with an acrobatic touchdown catch, Mike. Laying on his back is the ball. He tips the ball. It comes down in his belly. He holds on, and the Rattlers' lead is 20 to nothing over Savannah State. And uh, ready to kick it off. Chase Varnador all set to kick it off, and here we go. End over end kick. Going to be fielded by Daquan Daniels. He's at the 20, trying to find a seam, and, boy, he's going to be hitting rocked at the 20-yard line. The 20, they're going to mark him at the 22, and that's where Savannah State will begin first and 10 from there. Well, yep. hey, Rattlers, it's tea time. Don't miss the Capital City 
Scholarship Classic Foundation Golf Tournament being held during FAMU's homecoming on Friday, October 18th at Jake Gaither Golf Course. Registration starts at 7.30 with a shotgun start at 8.30. All proceeds go to the Capital City Classic Scholarship Fund. For more information, call the Capital City Classic Office at 850-222-9354. All right, here we go. The Savannah State Tigers, first and 10 now from their own 22-yard line, Antonio Bostic being chased out of the pocket, fires downfield and overthrows his intended receiver. It'll make it second down and 10 for Savannah State. Yeah, Savannah State struggling to get anything going. If you're someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, call 1-800-799-7233. That's 1-800-799-SAFE. You might save a life, and that's my for Latoya moment. And with that, I want to say hi to Gene and Sam and all the folks down in Rich Bay Having a big cookout down there, I heard. All right. Want to say hi to Mr. Clifford Swain, also over in Havana, Florida. And want to let Mr. Swain know that everything is okay. Jerome and I both doing fine up here. We're not fighting and anything like that. Antonio Boston breaks it out, out of the pocket. He's across the 35 and slides to the 41-yard line. That's a big first down for Savannah State and an outstanding run by the West Gatson, former West Gatson quarterback. Yeah, and that's the first first down of the afternoon on that Boston run as they get out to the 41-yard line. First and 10, Savannah State from their own 41, moving right to left. And this time, Antonio Bostic with the spread formation, and Bostic throws this pass out there. It is caught by Simon Hayward, 5'11", 185-pound senior out of Savannah, Georgia. And Hayward's going to make that reception at the 46-yard line. And it'll be second down and about five yards to go for the Tigers. And this time, Bostic sets up. Boy, he decides he's going to run. And, boy, he got a little running room. And Bostic, Mike, who decides he's going to take some liberties on his own and uses his feet. He gets another Tiger first down yeah. at the Rattler 42-yard line. Yeah, and the Rattlers may have to put a spy on him. As, uh, that's two straight times now. He has pulled the football down and gained first downs as they have driven for the first time into Rattler territory. All right, Antonio Bostic. This time with one setback, twins to either side, and Bostic again trying to set the screen. Boy, that is a vicious hit by Brandon Denmark. The pass was complete to number 11, Roosevelt Isom. Roosevelt Isom, but he had his legs completely taken out from under him by Brandon Denmark. Only a two yard gain is going to make it second down and eight yards to go for Savannah State. Yeah, that's Roosevelt Isom the third, whose dad was a wide receiver for Georgia Tech. All right, here we go. Bostic again th looking to throw. That pass is underthrown. Falls incomplete. And this time it was intended for Simon Hayward again. 10.54 to play in the first half, and our score is FAMU 20, Savannah State nothing. Yeah, that last Rattler drive, Keith. 12 plays, 72 yards that got into the end zone. All right, here we go. The Tigers of Savannah State with a third down and eight to go now. Ball is resting at their own 40-yard line. The Tigers go two backs. Receivers to either side. Bostic looking to pass. This pulls it down. But this time the Rattlers do have a spy. And he's going to be thrown for a loss. That's a big defensive play back there. By looks like number 17, Sean Ward for FAMU. Sean Ward, 6'2", a 240-pound junior out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. It's going to bring up fourth down for Savannah State and force Preston McCarthy into duty to punt the football. Yeah, at least uh, Savannah State able to flip the field there. They're punting now to try to pin the Rattlers deep in their own territory. Hey, Keith and Mike, uh, the FAMU sidelines are definitely fired up, and they're pretty healthy. Right now, the only injury is Ziri Patterson, offensive lineman, left hand being taped up. All right, Devontae Terry Johnson calls for the fair catch. Mike sprinting forward to make that catch. It's kind of dangerous, but what he didn't want it, the ball to do was to bounce and then take a Savannah Tiger roll toward the end zone to pin, so they could pin us deep. And so a great effort by Terry Johnson, and it's going to give the Rattlers the football at our own 20-yard line. Yeah, you want to catch that ball to prevent the roll, save the Rattlers on field position. Yeah, good job by Terry to come up and make that catch. 10.05 to play in the first half, and our score 
is Savannah State trailing 20 to nothing. And here we go. The Rattlers sent to go. Moving left to right. Orange helmets are down. And receivers see the side this time for Damian Fleming. And on first down, Fleming is going to give to Al Tariq McPherson. This time, no place to run for Al Tariq on the stop for Savannah State. Number 10, Justin Dixon. 5'11", 225 out of Duluth, Georgia, makes the stop. He's going to bring up second down and 10 for the Rattlers from our own 20-yard line. Yeah, if it weren't for Justin Dixon, Keith, this game may be out of hand because he is almost on every play here, the middle linebacker. Casey Glines wide to the near boundary this time, and it's Adamson Felix and Linworth Lennon to the far side. And here we go on what the draw play to Al Tariq McPherson. McPherson fights his way to the 25-yard line. Going to bring up third down, about five yards to go for Rattler first down. Yeah. Good run there by Bice. It was a draw play. And again, good blocking by the Rattler front. They bring uh, an extra tight end and a receiver into the game now for this third down and four play. Yeah, my first checks out. And now the Rattlers on a third down and five. Ball resting at our own 25, leading 20 to nothing with 8.47 to play. Send Casey Glines wide near boundary. Triplet receivers, or three receivers, to the far side. And in the backfield is Lamont Bice. And this time, Damian pulls it down. He is going to run. He has the first down. And Damian down at the 35-yard line. That will move the chains and give the Rattlers a first down. Uh, good run by Damian. Lots of orange in the stadium, Keith. Of course, the, the uh, Savannah State Tigers colors are orange and uh, something they call reflex blue. And the Rattlers orange and green. And then they're Sean. Yeah, Sean uh, has on his pumpkin outfit. He's getting ready for Halloween. And he's got on his glow-in-the-dark shoes. Neon shoes yeah. Glow-in-the-dark. Actually, they're going to turn the lights out at halftime just so we can see Sean's. Highlighter yellow. <laughs> they're highlighter yellow, as Jefferson Walker, Jeff Walker says. His shoes are highlight yellow. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even respond. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Damien, look at the pass. Boy, he has lots of pressure. And now he's going to take the sack. Should have thrown that one away. It's going to be a big sack. And, Mike, it's your guy once again on the tackle for Savannah State. Justin Dixon, 5'11", 210-pound sophomore. And, and also Marquis from. Smith, the other linebacker, also getting there. Big loss on that play. Routes have to get all the way down to the 44-yard line for a first down. It's going to be second down and really long. Okay, looks like Mark, Marcus Bennett is wearing number 15 for the Rattlers tonight. We'll check that with Ronnie Johnson, make sure that's correct. All right, here we go. Rattlers hand it off. This looks like Al Tariq getting the call here. Yeah. Oh, that's Lam Lamont Bice. Yeah, tried to hit the quick-hitting trap up inside yeah, that time. Yeah, it was time. Bice. But a good job that time by the Tiger defense. Pull that for short on third down, and the longest third down that the Rattles have had on the day, but they've been very good so far on third downs as they are a great seven of eight so far today on third down. Yeah, third down and 18 now for the Rattlers. I, Mike, it's, it's not very many times that we would catch Sean D at, at a loss for words. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm All sorry, right. guys. This, this is new job green I have on. <laughs> new job green. <laughs> Davey and Fleming back to pass. Fires across. That pass picked is picked off. off. And here we go. At the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Touchdown, Savannah State. And uh, on the interception Marquise and return, Smith. Marquise Smith. And he is having a will of a ball game. And the Savannah State Tigers are on the board with 6.13 to play in the first half. Yep, Smith was the guy that we were talking about who's on the Jerry watch list as one of the top newcomers in the FCS. He picks that pass off and goes into the end zone. And with 6.13 remaining before halftime, the Tigers cut into the Rattler lead at 20 to 6. Okay, and on to attempt the point after is Preston McCarthy. 
with 6.13 to play. Snap placement kick is on the way, and it is good. And so, FAMU's lead is cut to 13, 20 to 7. The Tigers are on the board, and we'll be back after this word, or these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. 20 to 7, our score now, as uh, Marquis Smith returns an interception, a pick six and put Savannah State on the board. 20 to seven our score. And the Tigers are on the board. Preston McCarthy with a high end over end kick. And boy, the Rattlers fumble the kick, but now pick it up and run. That's James Owens. And Owens is gonna take it out to the 35 yard line. Good return after he bobbled the kick. 6.07 to play. And uh, the Tigers now cut the gap, Mike, to 13 points. Yeah, good interception and an excellent return. He picked up some blocks over on the other side and got in as their offense had really been struggling. But the defense now rises up and gets them on the board. Rattlers with a 20 to seven lead with six minutes and seven seconds uh, remaining in the first half. All right, here we go. Rattlers are going to send Lamont Bice in the backfield with Caleb Brown and an offset eye. Twin receivers to the far boundary. And we're going to run on first down. It's Lamont Bice, and Bice pulls his way across the 35 out to about the 37-yard line. And that's going to be a gain of about... Let's see. They're going to give him two. Second down, about eight yards to go for the Rattlers of FAMU. Yeah, that was a 46-yard return on that touchdown by Marquis Smith. Yeah, he's having one heck of a ball game for Savannah State. All right, here we go. Rattlers sent Adamson Felix wide to the far boundary. Linworth Lin into the near side and again load the offset eye. Linworth in motion. And this time, Damian again gives to Bice. He bounces outside, turns up field, and Bice fights his way across the 45, out to the 47-yard line, and that's around the first down. Move those chains. Bice running with good power, Keith, and made a lot of those yards after first contact, something the Rattlers have not had. Good job right there by Lamont Bice. All right, here we go. First down, Rattlers and our own 47, moving left to right, headed toward the south end zone with a 20 to seven lead. And Mike, one of the things that good football teams do, they answer. Uh, Savannah State put seven on the board. Let's see if the Rantlers now can answer. Casey Glines, wide to the near boundary. Linworth Lennon now comes in motion all the way across. And so twins to the near boundary. We run the toss sweep. This time for Al Tariq McPherson. McPherson gets back to the line of scrimmage. But he's gonna be stopped there and it's gonna make it second down and 10 for the Rattlers of FAMU, and once again, Mike, number 25 is on the play, Marquis Smith. Yeah, he's an outstanding kid. Only a freshman is 6'3", 225 pounds, and from up in the area where we were last, we were up in Prince George County, Maryland. Yeah, one of the wealthiest counties, Mike, for African Americans in the United States of America. In the entire country. Yeah. Second down and 10 for the Rattlers of FAMU. Offset eye once again for Damian Fleming. And the Tigers threaten blitz. We give it again to, this is, this is Al Tariq, Al Tariq McPherson again. This time the Tigers close that gap. It's Javante Mobley, 6'2", 230, a sophomore out of Jacksonville, Florida, on the stop. It's gonna make it third down and nine now for a round the first down with three minutes and 54 seconds to play. In the first half, the Rattlers with a 20 to seven lead over Savannah State. Let's see if the Rattlers can keep this drive going here as they come into half. And as you say, Keith, you want to come up with an answer, especially when you give up uh, an, a defensive touchdown like that. All right, here we go. Rattlers break the huddle and send Casey Glines and Linworth Lennon. Twins to the near boundary. Damian fires a pass. That pass is caught, and it's caught right near the first down stick. Let's see how they mark the forward progress. Well, it looks like they're going to be mark him just short. It's Adamson Felix on the reception, and they're going to mark it. About a half yard short. And the Rattlers keep probably asking for a, a, a measurement. measurement. Yeah. Yeah, the Rattlers but, are asking for a measurement. But the Rattlers do not look like they are getting the punt team ready. It looks like if they're short, they're going to go for this on fourth down. Yeah. Three minutes, seven seconds remaining in the first half. 
And I want to give a shout-out to BJ, Vic, Keisha Bethea, and uh, Pokey from the, from the Bond community. Rattles are going to come up about a half yard short. Yeah. So you bring up fourth down and inches for the Rattlers of FAMU. And, uh, boy, Lamont Bice has been quite a workhorse on third downs this afternoon, Mike. And uh, he's having a whale of a ball game. You got Bice right now, seven carries, leading rusher for the Rattlers. With, he's got 45 yards. Al Tariq McBurst, 31 yards on 10 attempts as the Rattlers have, have done what they said they were going to do, Keith. They have pounded that football. That's Jerome Swain and enjoys lunch. Fourth down, Rattlers. And we're going to go for it. Damian Fleming going to have uh, Caleb Brown as the up back and Lamont Bice as the yeah. high back. And now Savannah State wants to talk it over. They're going to take time out, and we'll be back after these words from... Damian Fleming, play, action, run, the option to Linworth, Lennon, and Linworth down inside the 40-yard line. With a flag on the field. And it's going to be called holding against the Rattlers of FAMU. A little bit of trickery out of the uh, offensive playbook of Quinn Gray. And it's going to be holding, going to make it fourth down, and now probably we'll see, you, we'll see the punt team yep. check in. Now we're going to see the punt team check in. Rattles going to have to give it up. All right, we got a special moment. I want to send a special shout-out to Mrs. A. Martha Adayimo. Uh, she is Robert Sr.'s aunt, and uh, we want her to stay encouraged on the 21st anniversary of the passing of her son, Christopher Henry. And uh, Robert shares his love and his thoughts. And we share ours as well. As well, we yeah. I, I, I know Martha, yeah. Yeah, we want to... Let you know that we're behind you 100%. And boy, what a beautiful kick this time from Colby Blanton. Mike, that thing was almost as high as the lights here in the stadium, uh, Ted Wright Stadium. And a fair catch made at the 18-yard line by Savannah State. And the Tigers will take over first and 10 from there with two minutes and 38 seconds remaining in the first half. And the Rattlers leading. 20 to 7. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how aggressive Savannah State is coming out from their own 17-yard line here late in the half. All right, Antonio Bostic going to send twin receivers to either side. He loads up the sprint formation, gives to his back, and he fights his way to the 20-yard line where once again it is number 54 on the tackle for the Rattlers, Curtis Alexander. Curtis Alexander, yeah. Uh, it was LaReggino Beals, the ball carrier. He's going to pick up about four yards, second down, about six to go for Savannah State. Bostic this time fires toward the sideline. And the pass is incomplete. Looks like it's going to fall incomplete and make it third down now. And about six to go for Savannah State. Yeah, what it was 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 outstanding coverage over there by Terry Johnson. Pass was incomplete intended for number five, Kentrell Frazier. Brings up a third down, and so far, down, Savannah five. State 0 for 4 on third down conversions. And see if the Rattlers can hold them right here again and get the football back before halftime. Bostic, again, spread formation. And, boy, a Rattler jumps across. And like, makes contact. Yeah, it looks like Big Frank Mays, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see if that's going to be enough for the first down. They're going to say it's still third down. It's going to be third and short now after the assessment. Yeah, and it hasn't been marked yet, so let's see once they put it down. It's about a yard and a half short. Yeah, Frank jumped in the neutral zone, tried to get back, but his forward momentum, about a yard short, forward momentum, he made contact. And here we go, third down and one. 
Bostic takes the snap, pulls it now. He's going to run for the sideline, and okay, it's going to be a judgment there. call. Yeah, it looks he's like, like he's, he's going to be short. Yeah, maybe even he's lost a half yard. Yeah. Bostic couldn't get there. The Tigers want to say he got the first down, but I think it's going to be fourth down for Savannah State. And now it's, yeah, yeah, it's it fourth, is down. fourth down. Clock continues to run. It's at 2.04. And uh, Savannah State out there lined up like they're going for it on this fourth down, deep in their own territory. So let's see. Yeah. Dangerous play here because uh, if they don't get it, the Raiders will have excellent field position. They give it to Bostic. And he's going to get the first down. And uh, he follows that big offensive front. Yeah, Bostic, the quarterback, simply took it on a quick snap quarterback. See, the Rattlers still had their dime defense on the field, Keith, and they actually have the two defensive ends uh, standing up. There's only one person with his hand on the ground. That's Frank Mays, who right now is playing a nose guard spot. Yeah. All right, here we go. First and 10, Savannah State. Minute 38 to play, and the ball resting at the Tiger 28-yard line. Bostic. Sets up the pass. Boy, he is sacked. Had his legs cut from under him. Coming in low and making that hit. Yeah, that rattler that made the hit is having a hard time getting back to his feet. As a matter of fact, he's not to his feet yeah. yet. Yeah. As he actually may have hit his head on Bostic's knee. And and the turf as and the turf as well, Mike, as That's he made the tackle. We'll see. There's time out here on the field. We'll see if we can't identify who that injured Rattler is. Second down and 10. All oh, right, actually, second down and 20. Yep, second down. No, second down. And boy, this pass is caught out here, but another great play by William Smalls on the defense. The pass was completed to number three. Loregino Veals, the back, and Smalls comes up, and they're going to lose even more yards on the play. And it's going to bring up third down now for Savannah State and about, uh, let's see, uh, almost 19 yards to go. The ball's resting on the 19-yard line. Good defense that time by the Rattlers. Yeah, clock is down under 40 seconds, and uh, they're in no hurry right here. Bostic dancing around. Rattlers have a spy. He loses one Rattler. And going to be dropped at about the 29-yard line by number 17 of FAMU. Sean Ward and Patrick Aiken also on the stop. Yep. So it's going to bring up fourth down for Savannah State with only well, seconds. Yeah, the yeah. Rattles have used their timeout, so that, that probably is going to be the last play of the half. That may be the last play of the first half. And uh, Savannah State's making their way toward the locker room, and that is going to be the end of the first half of play with our score, FAMU 20 and Savannah State 7. We're going to see if we can go down to Elton Gumble and get some comments from Coach Earl Holmes uh, as they make their way to the locker room. All right, go, E, you got it. Yep. I'm, w I'm walking right now here with uh, Hick Holmes. Of course, he, he's right now trying to make sure he uh, is talking deep, as always, with one of his linebackers, Brandon Denmark. Here, Coach, right now, you got a 20 to 7 lead going into halftime right now. Uh, what's going through your mind? Uh, we, we just got to do a better job and not turn the ball over. I, I think uh, the first half, the defense was flying around. I thought they played tremendous. We are. Uh, the world. We are excited about the return of the 100. But you should be more excited about what you're about to witness. This is the Savannah State University, the greatest university in the world.
offense as we begin the second half. Preston McCarthy all set to kick it off for Savannah State. And we're ready to go here in Savannah, Georgia. Ted Wright Stadium, a good-looking crowd on hand for this one. And it's a high end-over-end kick. And it's going to be fielded at the 10-yard line, 15, 20, 25, and still on the feet. And down at the 30-yard line goes number 21, James Owens, for the Rattlers of FAMU. And the Rattlers now will begin first and 10 from our own 30-yard line. It'll be Adamson Felix, Zary Patterson, the left tackle, Keontae Cash, the left guard, Kevin House, the center, the right guard, Reginald Turner, Doug Almendares, the right tackle, Michael Etheridge at tight end. It'll be uh, probably... Let's see, James Owens will start at tailback as we begin the second half. Damian Fleming at quarterback. Caleb Brown has been the workhorse at fullback this evening, but it's going to be, looks like Lonnie Lockett who starts and Linworth Lennon at wide receiver. Here we go, Rattlers beginning from our own 30-yard line as we begin the second half, moving right to left or heading toward the north end zone. And Damian under center, orange helmets are down. We throw the quick out for Adamson Felix. And Adamson's going to pick up a couple of yards and will make it second down and about eight yards to go now for a Rattler first down. <laughs> That's the Rattler defense will have at DB, Devontae Mobley, Christian Martinez, and Michael Blunt across the front, Travian Ashford, Justin Dixon, and Marquis Smith at the linebacker spots. It's been Wayne Johnson, Brandon Hill at the corners, and Gregory Brown and Ansley at the safety spots. All right, second down, eight yards to go for the Rattlers of FAMU. Ball's resting at our own 32-yard line. This time, Adamson Felix sprints to the far boundary. He'll be wide there. Linworth Lennon wide to the near side. Michael Etheridge, the tight end, flips to the far side. That's the strong side of the formation now for Damian Fleming under center. And Damian's gonna give this ball to James Owens. That's a sure tackle back there by number 25, Marquis Marcus Smith. Smith. Marquis Smith, and he's having a will of a ball game. Boy, James Owens had Marquis Smith not been there. James may have uh, had a nice piece of running room there, but he has a sure tackle. And it's gonna bring up third down and about seven. Only one yard gain for James Owens. And a big third down. Rattlers were very successful. Seven of ten on first third down attempts in the first half. That's a 70% success rate. Lines wide near side. Linworth Lennon goes in motion. Now twins to the far boundary for Damian Fleming. And we've got whistles and penalty markers. And we're going to get a legal procedure called against the Rattlers. It's going to be third down and about seven to go. And now that's going to make it third down and 12, a totally diff different scenario. Yeah, and in, in the first half, we didn't have those penalties. And you see one creeping up right here. The first half, the Rattlers only two penalties for 15 yards. Going to make it third down and 12 now for the Rattlers. Coach Holmes had to be happy with his defense, Keith. Only giving up 52 yards total offense in the first half. Yeah, our Elton Gumble is working the sidelines this evening. You'll hear him uh, kind of chime in uh, with comments uh, as the as the second half goes along. We're trying to get we worked out some uh, technical problems we've had in the first half, but hopefully we'll be able to get Elton uh, on uh, with uh, his updates more frequently here in the second half. All right, here we go. Damian sets up, fires his pass out for Linworth Lennon. Linworth makes the catch and goes down at about the 35-yard line. We'll see what they mark his progress. Yeah, it's going to be just short. spotting him at the 34, and that'll bring up fourth down for the Rattlers. Big difference in scenario, Mike, from a third and seven to a third and 12. Absolutely. Makes it that much tougher, and that's why you have to stay away from those penalties. Kobe Blanton on now uh, for only the third point of the afternoon. And Daquan Daniels will be deep to receive for Savannah State. All right, here we go. Colby. Boy, kind of this, this one. Boy, that's that's going to be a poor punt. As the, the, the official still sprinting, he's at the 35. He's coming close to midfield. Boy, 45 still coming. There Boy, go. wow. That is going to be less than 10 yards on that punt. Looks like about a six-yard punt they're going to give him credit for as the Tigers are going to take over at the Rattler 41-yard line. Yeah. 
Yeah, he shanked that one. Now, uh, special teams, uh, special teams coordinator uh, Juan Vasquez was on the sideline. He immediately went over to Kobe Blanton and uh, and was yelping at him about that kick. Blanton said he was rushed. Vasquez said he had enough time to get out for good kick. Should not have rushed it. All right, here we go. Tigers going to load the power eye. Rattlers bring, threaten the blitz. The Tigers jump in the neutral zone and make contact. Now let's see. Yeah, and actually earlier, Keith, it seemed like uh, a whistle blew on the field and everybody stopped, but the official was telling them to go ahead. That play didn't seem right from the very beginning. All right, here we go. It's going to back the Tigers up five and make it first down now and 15 for Savannah State with 12 minutes and 30 seconds to play in the third quarter. Rattlers leading 20 to 7. And this time Bostic going to be hit in the backfield and sacked. And it's Frank Mays and Akil Blunt yeah. on the stop for the Rattlers. Akil Blunt turned the play back in, and uh, Frank Mays was right there to finish it off. And that's going to be a tackle for another loss as the Tigers now in reverse. They're all the way back to midfield. They've got to get to the Rattler 31 for a first down, 19 yards. Yeah. Second down and 19 now for Savannah State. And the Tigers moving left to right, heading toward the south end zone. And Antonio Bostic once again pressured and hit and sacked. And who is that? Is Frank Mays. Frank Mays again. And they lose more yards. They have absolutely gone in reverse since they took over the football. I tell you, Mike, uh, maybe we found the right position for Frank Mays. Maybe he's better at nose guard. Well, in the dime defense that the Rattlers are playing right now, they've got Curtis Alexander and number 17, Sean Moore, both standing, and they are both linebacker types. Frank Mays is really the only defensive lineman in the game, but he's doing a good job in the middle. Yeah, he's clogging things up. Here we go, Antonio Bostic. Again, boy, shovel pass, and uh, out to about the 46-yard line of the Rattlers. Brandon Denmark comes up and makes the stop on Loregino Beals, but it's going to bring up fourth down for Savannah State. And once again, Mike, let's give the Rattler defense some credit. Another force, three and out, and uh, the Tigers will be forced to punt. The Tigers are 0 for 6 on third downs tonight. Just what the doctor ordered, Mike, for this Rattler defense. Absolutely. Especially uh, looking at Howard coming to town next week to, to Tallahassee for homecoming. All right, McCarthy gets off the kick. And this is going to be All right, it's a short a kick, short too. Kick in the but it's taking a Tiger bounce, and now it's going to stall out, too. That was another short punt. Yeah. Rolls dead at about the 24-yard line. So the Rattlers will begin our second possession of the second half from our own 24-yard line. Yeah, that's about a 27, 28-yard punt right there. As they trade bad punts, and the Rattlers with decent field position at the 23. 7-11 for the Rattlers on third down, 0 for 7 so far for Savannah State. And that is a big difference. Can't keep drives alive, you can't score points. All right, here we go. Rattler's gonna it's interesting formation. Yeah, and the Tigers, you see one of their halftime adjustments, they brought another safety down into the box against this Rattler running game. We give it to James Owens and who bounces outside and Owens fights his way to the 29 yard line. Yeah. A, penalty, a penalty marker came out as soon as that play got started over on the far side of the field. And uh, let's see. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be assessed against the Rattlers. Illegal motion is the call against FAMU, and it's going to be called on Linworth Lennon. Yeah, the Rattlers only had two penalties in the first half, and they have picked up two quick ones here in the third quarter. And again, uh, those are the kind of things that stall drives. It gets you off schedule when you want, especially when you're trying to run the football. All right. That makes it the first down and 15 now for the Rattlers. The ball resting at our own 18-yard line. Damian Fleming 
wants to uh, hands it off to James Owens and uh, James fights his way across the 20 out to maybe the 21 yard line so he'll pick up about three of those yards back and it'll make it third down about 12 to go for a Rattler first down. Rattlers pitching a shutout so far defensively the only score for Savannah State the 46 yard interception return but the defense pitching a shutout. Rattlers in the pistol formation this time. They've got Bice as the back behind their quarterback, Damian Fleming. All right, here we go. Damian this time gives to Lamont Bice. And Bice falls forward, but he's only going to get about a yard on the play. And that'll make it fourth down for the Rattlers. I don't think that's going to be third. Or third down. Yeah, third down and 11 is right. Third down and 11 now for the Rattlers. Only one yard gain. Yeah. The Rattlers were dominant in the first half in time of possession, holding on to the football almost 20 minutes of that first half. It's going to bring up a third down, about 11 yards to go for the first down as they were starting the action back here in the third quarter on a beautiful night in Savannah, Georgia. Rattler sent Adamson Felix and uh, Linworth Lennon wide to the near side. It's Casey Glines isolated to the far boundary for Damian Flint. On third down and 11, 8.34 to go in the third. The Rattlers leading 20 to 7. That pass intended for Glines, and it falls incomplete. And it's going to bring up fourth down for the Rattlers. Yeah, trying to go with the crossing routes, but it seems all the receivers were in the same general area when that ball was thrown. The timing seemed off, and the Rattlers fail to pick up a first down. Daquan Daniels will retreat to receive this punt from Colby Blanton. And the Rattlers have got a new punt formation here spread out all over the field and now they will shift yeah. in, into a tight punt formation. They want to keep the offensive momentum going though. Don't want to fall back into this lull where we're, we're not being productive offensively. You get the kickoff as time runs out on the play clock. Daquan Daniels steps away from the kick. Boy, that, certainly, that ball almost hit Wayne Johnson. Another short punt is again. It's going to be good field position for the Tigers. And, and the Tiger coach is talking to their punt returner about the same thing that Terry Johnson did. You want to come up and catch that football and not let it bounce right. and gain, uh, gain yards for the other team. So, about that, guys, you were talking about that punt formation just then. They did that just so they could have a little bit more protection for Kobe Blend. All right, here we go. Pass is tossed out here and caught. It's Cantrell Frazier. Cantrell again. Frazier. Terry Johnson over there on the stop for the Rattlers. Yeah, Rattlers were bringing pressure off the slots as Patrick Aikens uh, came in. They came close to getting that sack, too. Parker, keep the young Darren Parker getting a lot of action out on the corner as the Rattlers playing a lot of defensive backs in the game. And now they're, let's see, the play has been stopped. There's a Rattler down. Sean Moore is down, number 17. Okay, and there's a break in the action here with 7.57 to play. There's timeout on the Tree Classic. Maintaining their number 12 position in the Southeast region. Kevin Mandarich, Elias Cheshire, and Jeffrey Sambu all posted top 20 finishes for FAMU, with Mandarich finishing 7th in the 8K race overall. Finally, next week is homecoming, and the Rattler football team hosts Howard. Kickoff is at 2 p.m., and Rattler Sports Network coverage begins at 1.30 p.m. See you at the homecoming for something old, something new, something FAMU. Third down and about three to go for Savannah State. As Antonio Bostic under center throws the out, got his man, that's Daquan Daniels. And Daniels is going to take it all the way down to about the 41-yard line of FAMU. And that'll be a first down for Savannah State. Yeah, going to mark him out at about the 41. That is another first down. And uh, that is their only their second, third down conversion of the afternoon. All right, 
Tigers go spread formation this time. Bostic looking to pass, fires across the middle. And it's boy. And that pass is caught all the way down to the 10. That's a great catch downfield by number 80. That's Jeremy Moore, Keith, who seemed to be surprised at first that the ball was coming to him, but he got his hands on it and snatched it out of the air. 6'3", 190, a senior out of Austin, Texas. And here we go, the Savannah State Tigers now inside the red zone and threatening. Antonio Bostic looking to pass, team. got a man. Oh, that pass falls incomplete. Boy, and the Rattlers lucked out right there because he would have walked into the end zone. Yeah. Ball hit him right between the four and the O. Yeah. But he coughs it up. Speaking of the four and the O, that pass was intended for Rashard Farrell, 5'11", 220-pound senior out of Conyers, Georgia. It falls incomplete, and it's going to bring up second down and 10 now for Savannah State, or second down and goal to go for Savannah State from the Rattler 10-yard line. Empty backfield this time. 6.35 to play Bostic. Pulls it down. He's going to run it. You can tell they've scouted the Morgan State films. And he's going to take it to about the eight-yard line. This was a play we saw so frequently last week. Spread the Rattler defense out, and then the quarterback would take off and run. And it looks like we've got another injury on the play. This time on the Savannah State sideline. And so with a break in the action and our score. FAMU 20, Savannah State 7. We'll be back after these words from our Tree Classic. Maintaining their number 12 position in the Southeast region. Kevin Mandarich, Elias Chessire, and Jeffrey Sambu all posted top 20 finishes for FAMU, with Mandarich finishing 7th in the 8K race overall. Finally, next week is homecoming, and the Rattler football team hosts Howard. Kickoff is at 2 p.m., and Rattler Sports Network coverage begins at 1.30 p.m. See you at the homecoming for something old, something new, something fam you third down and about three to go for savannah state as antonio bostic under center throws the out got his man at daquan daniels and daniels going to take it all the way down to about the 41 yard line of fam you that'll be a first down for savannah state yeah, going to mark him out at about the 41 that is another first down and uh, that is their only their second third down conversion of the afternoon. All right. Tigers go spread formation this time. Bostic looking to pass. Fires across the middle. And it's boy. And that pass is caught all the way down to the 10. That's a great catch. Downfield by number 80. That's Jeremy Moore, Keith, who seemed to be surprised at first that the ball was coming to him, but he got his hands on it and snatched it out of the air. 6'3", 190, a senior out of Austin, Texas. And here we go, the Savannah State Tigers now inside the red zone and threatening. Antonio Boston looking to team. pass, got a man. Oh, that pass falls incomplete. Boy, and the Rattlers lucked out right there because he would have walked into the end zone. Yeah. Ball hit him right between the four and the O. Yeah. But he coughs it up. Speaking of the four and the O, that pass was intended for Rashard Farrell, 5'11", 220-pound senior out of Conyers, Georgia. It falls incomplete, and it's going to bring up second down and 10 now for Savannah State, or second down and goal to go for Savannah State from the Rattler 10-yard line. Yep. Empty backfield this time. 6.35 to play Bostic. Pulls it down. He's going to run it. You can tell they've scouted the Morgan State films. And he's going to take it to about the eight-yard line. This was a play we saw so frequently last week. Spread the Rattler defense out, and then the quarterback would take off and run. And it looks like we've got another injury on the play. This time on the Savannah State sideline. And so with a break in the action and our score. FAMU 20, Savannah State 7. We'll be back after these words from our... Antonio Bostic's pass was intended for Jeremy Moore. Looks like he made the catch, 
But he came down out of bounds. Yeah, and so the Savannah State fans wanted it to be called. They wanted to say, to say the round the defender forced him out. But it's an incomplete pass. And actually, there's no such thing as a force out. If he forced him out of the end zone, that's a good play by the Rattler defense. And it's going to bring out the field goal unit as the Tigers try to cut further into the Rattler lead. That was a good defensive play, Keith. He actually knocked that ball away. You've got to come all the way to the ground and complete the catch, and he didn't do that. Preston McCarthy on to attempt a 23-yard field goal from straight on. And it's no good. The Rattler defense has held. What an outstanding defensive stand, Mike, by the Rattler defense. They let them inside the red zone, but shut them out. Shut them out. Didn't get the points on the board, so the Rattler defense wins that battle. And let's see if we can get the offense going like we had it going there in the first quarter. We've had a, a pretty good low here where the offense hasn't got a lot done. There's six minutes and six seconds remaining in the third quarter. And you're right, Mike. We got to see if we can get uh, the Rattler offense back in gear at, like we had it going in the first half. Yeah, I want to send a shout-out to my cousin, Margaret Polite. I uh, hope she's uh, listening to the game down on 96.1. Yeah. Next week is homecoming in Tallahassee. The Howard Bison will come to town to take on the family Rattlers in a Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference matchup. Here we go, Damian Fleming. Rolls right, fires. That pass is, is dropped by Casey Glines. Yeah, incomplete. Second down and 10 yes. for the Rattlers from our own 20-yard line. Speaking of the Howard Bison, they lost to Bethune-Cookman today by a score of 27-7. On Thursday night, it was South Carolina State 44, North Carolina Central 3. Delaware State knocks off Norfolk State today by a score of 14 to 7. It was Hampton 31, North Carolina A&T 26 in an upset. Yeah, that's an upset. No question about it. All right, here we go. Second down and 10 for the Rattlers from our own 20-yard line. Trying to get some offense going here in the third quarter. This and time, Damian Fleming on the, the quarterback option. And he takes it all the way out to the 39-yard line. That is a 19-yard run by the junior quarterback out of Jacksonville Reborn High School. First and 10 Rattlers move those chains. Yeah, it was a zone read, and uh, we had not seen that play a lot before today. Damian Fleming pulls it down and gets the Rattlers out to the 39-yard line in excellent field position now. Hey, guys, that special teams was fired up after the end of that uh, that last play. Patrick Aiken actually blocked the field goal, to goal attempt, and that really energized the offense. They want to come out here and put some points on the board. All right, great job for Patrick. He's having a whale of a season, too, Mike. Leads the Rattlers in interceptions with three so far on the season. The give this time is to Omari Albert, and, boy, he's running the wrong way. He's going to be tackle way back at our own 25 yard line. Yeah, they're going to they're going to give him four progress up to the tw at the 29 but what great penetration that time by Savannah. Yeah, and and, and, and if you know you're not going to get anything, go down. Yeah, you, you can't just continue to lose yards on that. Guys, I do have an injury update for you. Sean Ward, who left on the last defensive series, uh, is being looked at, having his left side looked at right now. And to update you on an injury sustained in the first half, Devin Roberts uh, appeared to have sustained a head injury. He is in street clothes. He will not return. Yeah, probably taking precautions that he, you know, against a concussion. Here we go. Pass across the middle. That's a good-looking throw and catch from Damian Fleming. Is that... Uh, that was to number 89. Dennis Hall, 5'10", 170-pound redshirt junior out of Belglade. And Mike is going to make it a third down and two, or a yard and a half. And we needed like 19 yards. That play's going to pick up almost 18 yards. Yeah, good job by Hall of turning up field as soon as he caught that. Tight formation now for the Rattles as they go two tight ends. Offset, uh, Lonnie Lockett is the up back. And it looks like Omar, let's oh. see. Boy, I give Omari Albert credit, Keith. He broke a tackle by Justin, by their middle linebacker. 
Justin Dixon in the backfield, and he's going to fight forward and pick up that first down. Omari Albert was the ball carrier and gets the first down. And as Mike said, he was hitting the backfield, shook that off, and moved forward to get the first down. So the Rattlers in Tiger territory now at the 47-yard line. Moving right to left and heading toward that north end zone. 324 to play in the third. The Rattlers holding that 13-point, 20-7 lead. Casey Glines wide to the near boundary. Twins to the far side now. And Lonnie Lockett shifts into the offset. They give it to Omari Albert once again. And Albert fights his way inside the 45 to the 44-yard line. And on first down, Omari is going to get about four yards and make it second down and about six to go for Rantler first down. Rattler sent a couple of extra play catchers into the game. Number 82 checks in along with Montavious Williams. Adamson Felix checks out. Yeah, Michael Morris, the receiving tight end, also checks in. And guys, one of the matchups I've been looking at all day long is uh, six foot six Casey Glines going up against either one of these defensive backs for Savannah State. Not a single defensive back taller than five foot eleven. <laughs> all right, here we go. Damian Fleming on the uh, read option, but this time Savannah State closes quickly. That's good defense. Justin Dixon leading the charge, Mike, and somewhere up in there, I think your boy was there too, uh, Marquis, Marquis Smith. Smith yeah. He is all over the field, and that's going to be a loss on that play. They try to run a little quarterback counter, Keith. They, they brought a couple of uh, the garden tackle around from the backside, uh, but a good job that time by the Savannah D. Yeah, third down, and about seven to go now for a Rattler first down. We lose a yard on the play with a minute 52 to play now in the third quarter. It's 20 to 7, Fam U. Rattlers in Tiger territory at the 44-yard line, trying to get something going here offensively. Damien sets up, fires downfield, and boy, just hits a Casey Glines in the hands, but falls incomplete. It's going to bring up fourth down for the Rattlers. Yeah, Glines was open. That ball slightly overthrown on the corner route, and it's going to bring out the Rattlers special teams to try to pin the Tigers deep in their own territory here. Yeah, Colby Blanton on a punt. It's Daquan Daniels deep to receive for Savannah State. And uh, there's a minute and 33 seconds remaining in the third quarter. Blanton this time puts, a, puts his foot into this one. Boy, hits and takes a rattler roll into the end zone. And the uh, return man for Savannah State knew he was not going to touch that one. No, he be, and that's what you tell him. Keith. You tell him to stand on the 10-yard line, and you don't back up. That way you don't make that catch down, try to make it inside your own 10-yard line. He did a good job, and it goes into the end zone. Hey, Keith and Mike, one thing to keep an eye on, Savannah State quarterback Antonio Bostic, uh, he is not in the game right now. He may have suffered a concussion, a uh, big hit by Brandon Denmark on the last possession. So right now you have a true freshman in the game for Savannah State. Yeah, Leon Prunty, uh, 6'4", 220, a, a freshman out of Stockbridge, Georgia, is in at quarterback for Savannah State. And Prunty, play action. Hit and sack back at the 10-yard line. Yeah, they're, they're trying to run play action, and the Rattlers are bringing pressure. Big now Frank Mace. On almost every down, and that's another big loss. Yeah, Frank Mays on the stop for the Rattlers. Mike, at some point, we need to check, um, check our defensive tackle chart. William Smalls leading the way so far tonight. He is having a big night, Smalls is. Here we go. Rattlers jump, but get back. Pronti, and now we've got whistles. Ah, boy. Let's see if there was contact. Illegal procedure is going to be the call against Savannah State. Yeah, Savannah State still in reverse. Yeah, Savannah State's total offense, Keith, under 100 yards. This, you got to give the credit to this Rattler defense. In 35 plays, they have picked up only 94 yards. On, on that last sack, it was Frank Mays who made the tackle with help from Terry Johnson. We've got a big debate going on up here. 
So, yeah, Terry Johnson gets the assist. <laughs> oh, it was Terry Johnson who made the tackle, and Frank gets the assist? Okay. Yeah. Tigers now inside their own five-yard line as the third quarter clock runs down. Yeah, Prunty backed up now, back near the, the goal line. The Rattlers sending pressure. Prunty's hit. Boy, he gets out of the end zone. And fires a pass downfield, and it's caught. That pass is caught by and numbers. It's going to be a first down. Yeah, number six, Chris Drummond, 6'5", 215, a junior out of Washington, D.C. And that'll uh, – actually, actually, it's still short. That was uh, – Yeah. They just passed the original line of scrimmage. It's going to yeah. be third down and it's still about six yards to go. Yeah, about seven. Yeah, about six yards to go. Third and six for Savannah State. Prunty? Yeah. Uh, from the gun this time. And looking to pass throws the quick out. Boy, shakes off a Rattler. And uh, going to pick up the first down. That's a good-looking run after catch by Cantrell Frazier. And it'll move the chains for Savannah State. Yeah, Prunty, actually, Keith, has been getting, they had been playing three quarterbacks all year. So it was not the first action of the year for Prunty. Prunty actually has thrown for 300 yards so far this year. He's second in passing to Boston. And he sacked that time by William Smalls, yeah. adding to his already defensive leading takedowns for the Rattlers tonight. And that's the end of the third quarter play with our score. FAMU 20, Savannah State 7, and we'll be back after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. Hey, FAMU fans. New and they'll send twin receivers to either side. It's a spread formation for Leon Prunty. Antonio Bostic not back in the ball game at this moment. Prunty checking off as the Rattler show blitz. One set back. Again, twin receivers to either side. Rattlers threatening blitz. And now bring the blitz. Boy, it, it took a long time to get that playoff. And that's what they call it. It's going to be delay a game. 11 first downs for the Rattlers, six for Savannah State. The Rattlers with 133 yards rushing and 34 attempts, led by Alamon Bice with 49 and Damian Fleming now with 46. Antonio Bosick has 13 rushes for 51 yards, and he has passed for another 70 for the Tigers. All right, Leon Prunty, though, still working quarterback now. And since um, Bostic went out of the game, Prunty fires. Boy, he, he drilled that pass downfield. It was intended for Simon Hayward, but it falls incomplete. The yep. Rattlers had uh, good coverage. Yep. Yep. It's going to bring up uh, third down now and 10. Well, third down and 21, that is, for Savannah State. 14.53 to play in the ball game. Rattlers leading 20 to 7. Yeah, Prunty showing a strong arm there. Curtis Alexander keeps getting a lot of action there, along with Sean Moore on the outside. They've taken the defensive lineman out and uh, put in a couple more linebackers. But they are getting good pressure on whoever's that quarterback for Savannah. All right, Leon Prunty uh, sets up. This time he is hit, shakes out, and dancing around. And Prunty is going to be run out of bounds at about the 31-yard line, which will make it fourth down for Savannah State. Now, Mike, give the Rattlers secondary some credit for no open, no receiver being able to get open for Prunty, who was looking downfield wanting to pass. Yeah, good coverage downfield. And another tackle, actually, for William Smalls. And so 14.43 to play in the fourth quarter, and the Rattlers leading 20-7. to seven. That will send on Preston McCarthy to punt. And the Rattlers have uh, Devontae Terry Johnson, who makes the fair catch at the 30-yard line, and the Rattlers will begin first and 10 from there. It's timeout in here. Savannah and the Rattlers leading 20 to 7. We'll be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattlers Sports Network.
On first down, Al Tariq McBurst gets two yards. It's second down and eight for the Rattlers from our own 33-yard line. Moving left to right, Damian Fleming under center gives this time to Al Tariq again. And this time he's going to be trapped behind the line of scrimmage. And it's going to lose yards on the play. It's going to bring up third down now for the Rattlers. And about eight yards to go. They're going to give him credit for getting back to the line of scrimmage, but no gain. Third down and eight for the Rattlers with 13-25 to play. And the Rattlers holding a 20-7 lead. Yeah, and the Rattlers were eight of nine on third down in the first half. They have not converted a third down here in the second. And what, the, what we wanted to see is that Rattler offense uh, being consistent here against Savannah State. Here we go, Damian Fleming. Damian's keep keeping it. And Boy, he took a hit. big he hit. He took a big hit from Justin Wilson again. And it's going to bring up fourth down. He's not going to get the first down. He takes it out past the 35, out to about the 37-yard line. But it's going to bring up fourth down for the Rattlers. And once again, the Rattlers cannot convert on third down. Daquan Daniels will retreat deep to receive for Savannah State. And it is Colby Blanton on the punt for the Rattlers. And there's Chief Jefferson Walker, the third. The third. Hey, Chief. All right. <laughs> and, boy, Colby shanks another one straight up in the air. Wow. All right, let's see where they're going to spot it again. They're walking up the sideline. It's going to be at the 43-yard line. And so, once again, another shank by Colby. And the Tigers are going to have good field position. 12-12 to play, trailing by 13. And it will be Leon Prunty once again checking in at quarterback for Savannah. The Rattler defense has been able to hold uh, the Tiger offense at bay as the offense yeah. has sputtered here in the second half, holding on to a 20-7 lead. Leon Prunty from the gun, empty backfield. And Prunty, well, that pass is deflected, batted down. And uh, was that Denmark who deflected the pass? And Akil Blunt. Great defense that time by Akil Blunt and Brandon Denmark. Makes it second down and 10 for the Tigers. Savannah State goes twins to either side. That's a spread formation. Empty backfield, though, for Leon Prunty. And Prunty wants to pass, has pressure. And that pass is incomplete as yeah. he rushed it. Had tremendous pressure, Mike, coming from Patrick Aiken. Pat, yeah, Patrick Aiken came on the blitz off the slot and was bearing down on Prunty, who short hopped that ball out to his receiver. And it's going to bring up a third down. Third down and 10 for Savannah State. And once again, they'll go to the empty backfield. Ball's resting at their own 43-yard line with 12.02 to go here in the fourth quarter. And Leon Prunty sets up, has time, going to throw the home run pass deep downfield. And that pass nearly picked off. Darren Parker had his hands on it but couldn't pull it in. Good coverage downfield. And again, uh, the Rattler defense Gets a three and out. Yeah, the intended receiver was Simon Hayward, but it falls incomplete, and it brings up fourth down for Savannah State. Preston McCarthy will check on the punt, and the Rattlers will send Devontae Terry Johnson deep to receive. Now, we really would like to see the Rattlers mount another offensive drive to kind of get this offense. Uh, to nail the door shut here. Yeah. McCarthy gets off a kick, and Terry Johnson makes the fair catch at the 25-yard line where the Rattlers will begin. First and 10 from there, 20-7 to 7 our score. The Rattlers lead, and we'll be back after these words from our network sponsors and the Rattlers Sports Network. The Rattler Boosters proud corporate sponsors, Apogee Signs and Graphics, Bayside Medical Supply, BNT Fencing, Capital City Bank Crew, Carla M. Holloman, D.O., Centennial Bank, 
Cumulus Radio, Dwayne and Donna Harvey, Henry and Pauline Gunn, Lindy's Fried Chicken in Crawfordville, Lowry Masonry LLC, Metron Contracting, Malding Towing, Palmetto Security Services, Regions Bank, Tallahassee Democrat, Tallahassee State Bank, The Moon, Vantage Media Partners of Florida, and Visit Tallahassee. Hey, Rattlers, for the most complete coverage of all home and away Florida A&M football games, you can count on the Tallahassee Democrat and Tallahassee.com. From kickoff to the marching 100 to the final touchdown, the Tallahassee Democrat has all you need to be the best FAMU fan in town. Make sure you grab a Sunday Tallahassee Democrat or purchase your very own subscription by going to Tallahassee.com. And as always, Rattlers will strike and strike and strike again. On first down, Damian Fleming's pass complete to Lonnie Lockett. Picks up a first down for the Rattlers at our own 38-yard line with 11.20 to play. And Damian this time sets an offset eye, gives to Bice. Lamont Bice, and Bice crosses the 45 out to the 46, maybe the 47. We'll see where they spot the football. But another good-looking run by Lamont Bison. Looks like now, Mike, the Randall offense coming to life a little bit here. Yeah, he was following the block of big Ryan Templeton, who is in the ball game at the right guard spot. Yeah, 10.50 to play now. And the Rantlers with a second down and two as Lamont picks up eight yards on that carry. And we go to an offset eye. Send Montavious in motion. And hand it off. They're not going to get a lot. Yeah, the motion came back toward the hole where we were handing the football off to the fullback, Lonnie Lockett. <laughs> Seems like uh, somehow or another that caused some interference with that play. It's going to bring up third down and about one to go. We got a one-yard gain, but third and one. Yeah. Kevin House, the Rattler center, and... Uh, the Savannah tailback, Loretta Veals, are both out of uh, Jacksonville's White High School. Okay. Third down and one for the Rantlers. Damian Fleming under center. We go to the offset. Our power formation this time. And give it to Lamont Bice. Boy, looks like, I don't know if he stumbled. Looks like he may have stumbled for and gotten and the first like down. It looks like there's some extracurriculars now going on over on the side. After that play was blown dead, don't know if he got the first down or not. The linesman on this side, if they go with his spot, he is not going to have the first down. Yeah, looks a little short. Boy, and that's the spot they gave him, too. That's going to be short. And yeah, it'll make it fourth down. And, it, and, yeah. and a yard to go. Fourth and, down and a yard. And the Rattler's going to send the field goal, the, the punt team in. The defense is playing well, so no, yeah, no use of taking, yeah, taking that gamble right there. Yeah. 9-20, to go in the ball game now. Rattlers leading 20-7. to seven. Yeah, it Took too much time as they tried to decide whether they were going to go or not. Five-yard penalty could delay a game as the clock goes down to 9-14. Kobe Blanton, who shanked a couple of yeah, them tonight. He needs to get a good one here. Is on the punt. And Daquan Daniels is deep to receive for Savannah State. Boy, Rattler's going to get another penalty as there was movement. So that's going to be a false start. That time it was Kayshawn Butler on special teams moving. The receiver now up to the 30-yard line as the Rattlers now are moving back because of penalties. They've had a lot of penalties here in the second half all of a sudden. All right, Colby on the punt. And boy, it's another, poor, another, another poor punt. Boy, and, that boy and it takes a Tiger bounce. It takes a Tiger roll, and boy, Colby Blanton has seemingly lost all of his confidence here. That, that's three bad punts in a row. Yeah. Uh, Juan Vasquez is going to have to sit him down. Uh, I'll warm up the backup. 
Yeah, Savannah State's going to have the football first and 10 from their own 45 yard line. Excellent field position. Uh, it's up to the Rattler defense to continue to do what they've done all night, and that's pretty much keep the Savannah State offense at bay. Offset eye now for Leon Prunty, still at quarterback since Antonio Bostic's exit. And Prunty wants to pass, fires downfield, got a man deep down there. And there was some bumping going. Actually, a, the re intended receiver, Simon Hayward, may have pushed off on the Rantler defender. Yeah, and Simon Hayward, the receiver, really didn't start running for the football until it was already in the air. He, he didn't run his route as though he thought the ball was going to come to him. Prunty's got a strong arm, and he put it out there, overthrew his receiver. It was Jules Donaville defending for the Rattlers. Yeah, another of those true freshman DBs. A lot of talent in that defensive backfield, young talent. That's going to be around for a while. Yeah, Coach Earl Holmes uh, electing to start getting some of those guys ready now. And uh, here we go. Prunty looking to pass again, pulls it down. This time he's going to run. The Rattlers have a number of folks there. It's Brandon Denmark who tosses him out of bounds. Kind of a vicious tackle, too. Caught him around the shoulders and yeah. slung him out, but he's going to pick up about six yards. Yeah. And the Tigers, as the clock continues to wind down, these situations are going to become four-down situations for them. Yeah. Keith and Mike, this FAMU assistant coaching staff is very excited about their linebackers, mainly Sean Ward, what he's been able to do rushing off the edge, been blowing up some of his offensive linemen. All right, third down, about six to go. Prunty fires. His pass is caught. That's a good-looking throw and catch to number 85 for Savannah State. Edward Lackey, Jr., 6'4", senior, uh, 195 pounds out of du was it, Dallas, Georgia. And he's going to pick up a first down in Rattler territory at the 42-yard line, 824 to play. And uh, Leon Prunty getting some good work in as the backup for Savannah State. He'll probably be the future of their offense. And he completes this pass to Simon Hayward uh, inside the 40 at about the 38-yard line. Rattler's doing a good job right now giving the offense different looks. Uh, they're coming on the blitz one time. That time they showed blitz back the way, only rushed three and, and dropped eight in the coverage. Yeah, Patrick Aiken on the stop for FAMU. 7.55 to go, 20 to 7. And uh, this time it's uh, Leon Prunty. He kind of bobbles the snap, picks it up. He's going to be hit and going to lunge forward for a couple of yards. But on the stop for the Rattlers. It's Curtis Alexander. Curtis on Alexander play. once again on the stop for the Rattlers defensively. Clock is ticking, 7.28 to play. Rattlers holding a 20 to 7 lead. And here we go, Leon Prunty and the Tigers at the Rattler 36 yard line with a third down. They swing this pass out. It's going to fall incomplete. Good defensive coverage over there by the Rattlers. Yeah, it was good pressure that time by Michael Lovejoy coming right up the middle. He hit Prunty just as he got that ball away. And, and as we were talking about, Keith, it's fourth down, but the Tigers are going to go. Yeah, fourth down and about five yards to go for a Tiger first down. Ball is resting at the Rattler 36-yard line, and there are seven minutes and ten seconds remaining in the ball game. The Rattlers are leading 20 to 7. But the clock now is working against Savannah State, and they've got to try to make something happen. Timeout, fam, you. And the Rattlers take time, so we will too. 20 to 7, the Rattlers lead. Specializing in the installation of commercial plumbing and underground utilities, including water, sewer, and fire line. Its owners, Caleb and Sharon Hanna, have over 30 years' experience in the Tallahassee area. Metron also offers installation of concrete sidewalks, erosion control, and construction management. On your next project, think Metron and call 850-681-9058. Again, 850-681-9058. Hey Rattler fans, it's Keith Miles, and it's time to move those chains. At the 30, the 25, the 20, the 15, the 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, touchdown, fam, you boy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The Earl Holmes Show, Sundays at 11 on ABC 27 in Tallahassee, and Wednesdays at 3 on Sun Sports Statewide.
Hey, want to say hi to Sylvia Smith celebrating a big birthday today down in South Florida. Happy birthday. And also want to say hi to Don Smith. That big celebration going on down in South Florida. And I hope everybody's happy. Rattler served up a victory, or trying to serve up a victory just for the birthday. <laughs> Fourth down and six, though. Rattlers need to step it up right here. Savannah State ball at the Rattler 36. Pronte hit and going to be dropped. That's a good defense. Is that Smalls again? Is that William Smalls? It looks like him along with Denmark. Yeah. Den oh, Denmark and Smalls again make the play. Smalls having an outstanding game. That's yeah. his ninth tackle of the uh, game. He, he's, he's probably headed for our defensive player of the game. Award. Well, hey, Rattler fans, it's tea time. Don't miss the Capital City Classic Scholarship Foundation Golf Tournament. It's going to be held during FAMU's homecoming weekend, Friday, October 18th at Jake Gaither Golf Course. Registration starts at 730 with a shotgun start at 830. All proceeds will go to the Capital City Classic Scholarship Found Fund. For more information, call the Capital City Classic office at 850-222-9354. Play a little golf for homecoming weekend. All right, here we go. Damian Fleming pulls it down, looking to pass. Got a man down. Feels Linworth Lennon, and boy, he just overthrows him. Linworth Lennon had a step on his defender, but it falls incomplete. Second down and 10 for the Rattlers of FAMU. Yeah, decent coverage by John Wilson, the senior from Athens, Georgia. As he was running step for step with Linworth, kind of surprised the Rattlers threw the ball in that first down, but uh, they tried to catch him by surprise and take a big shot. With the yeah, 6.54 remaining, 20 to seven our score. Yeah. Second down and 10 for the Rattlers. And Damian this time from the gun. As a back in the backfield. And we're going to run a little back. Yep. Damian's, no, Damian's going to pull it down. And Damian's going to run. Picks up a block. And Damian all the way down to the 45-yard line of Savannah State. And that's a Rattler first down. Yeah, and Damian could end up the leading rusher for the Rattlers today. Leading rusher right now is Lamont Bice with 58. And uh, let's see how much they give Damian credit for. That's eight carries for 60 yards for Damian Flint. Well, uh, Mike, you know, we don't... We try our best not to forget anybody. So I want to say hi to my cousin, Lynn Morris, who's uh, down enjoying that big birthday party in South Florida. So, Lynn, hey, I don't want to leave you out of the party. I know y'all having some fun. All right, here we go. First down at 10 for the Rantlers. And it's Al Tariq McBurst coming through. And Al Tariq takes it down to about the 42-yard line of Savannah State. And now, Mike, what you see happening is that most importantly, the Rattlers are moving the football offensively but taking ticks off the clock yeah, as well. Yeah, keeping the ground, the ground game going right now and taking those clicks off. Yeah, you know the FAMU offense definitely wants to get some more points on the board and hand another lopsided loss to Savannah State. This is the Savannah State squad that's given up 77 points twice already this season, Georgia Southern and Miami. 66 points to Troy. FAMU would love to add to it. Second down and about six to go. Damian Fleming going to throw back oh, a little screen. screen. And it's Addington Felix, and Felix is down to the 20-yard line of. Actually, Keith, I think that's going to be Mike Morris, the okay, tight end. He's 83. Bit, yeah, yeah. a little tight end yeah. screen. Yeah. As he rolled, Damian rolled away, and it was a throwback tight end screen. Mike Morris doing a good job of getting up field, and the Rattlers are at the 21-yard line with the first down with 5.15 to go in the ball game. Yeah, it was 82. Adamson is 83. So it was Mike Morris, and he takes it down to the 21-yard line just outside the red zone. And once again, the Rattlers are in striking position. Damian Fleming with Al Tariq McBurst in the backfield. Yeah, taking time off the clock. And this is Damian with McBurst leading the way, and Damian's going to pick up about three, maybe four yards on that carry. Make it second down, about six to go for a Rattler first down. Well, certainly no one is running away with the conference race. The only undefeated team in the conference play right now are the bethune Cookman Wildcats. As the A&T and the South Carolina State both have 
losses and as a couple of the other leaders lost today. So, yeah, the and race is for second place certainly still up for grabs. And, and, you know, if somebody can knock off the Wildcats before we get them in the Classic, it could be a race for the championship. Yeah, it's still a lot of football to be played in this 2013 season. All right, here we go. Rantler shift into the offset. Give it up. Oh, McBurst. McBurst. And, boy, Altarique fighting his way, keeping his balance. And, boy, that is an outstanding run. He takes it all the way down inside the 10-yard line to about the 6-yard line of Savannah State. That's good-looking running by Altarique McBurst. Yeah, and the will, you can see just the will of the Tiger defense starting to wane here in the latter, latter stages of the game. Yeah, and that's what that pounding from hard running will do, Mike. It just kind of just, you know, if you, you can't get in that trench and make the tackle, boy, it kind of demoralizes you as you go, especially as the clock winds down. 342, the Rattlers with the football at the six-yard line of Savannah State, leading 20-7 to seven and threatening again. Linworth Lennon comes in motion, and I think we're going to get a delay of game. And it is delay of game against the Rantlers. Now back us up five. Well, Mike, this is the drive we were hoping we'd get a little earlier, but we're getting it. Yep. Let's see if we can punch it on into the yeah, end zone. Rantlers need to punch it in. It's first down and goal from the 11. Now, Mike, uh, Here we go. First and goal from the 11. Damian Fleming looking to pass, looking, firing. Boy, touchdown. That's Linworth. All he needed was one foot down, and he got it. Linworth Lennon on an 11-yard touchdown pass from Damian Fleming. It was sprinting to the right, a new formation. We hadn't really seen that all day with a, a wing back and a tight end on that side. It was a flood pattern, and coming from the back side was Linworth Lennon with his second catch and his first touchdown of the day. And with 2.57 remaining, it's a 26-7 game now. Yeah. Chase Monador on to attempt the point after. Carson Royal will hold. Yeah, it looks like the Rattlers are missing. They only got 10 people on the field right now. If you know you're on the on the extra point team, you got to get out there. Yeah, they're missing the wing back, but it looks like they're going to try to kick it anyway and they get it off and it's good all right the Rattlers and the seventh point so it's 27-7 here in Savannah Georgia and we'll be back after these words my network sponsors on the Rattlers Sports Network Hey, Rattler fans, I'm Lecrae Mitchell and with Mandarich finishing 7th in the 8K race overall. Finally, next week is homecoming and the Rattler football team hosts Howard. Kickoff is at 2 p.m. and Rattler Sports Network coverage begins at 1.30 p.m. See you at the homecoming for something old, something new, something fam you. All right, Lecrae Mitchell, thank you very much for that spot. Rattlers. Linworth Lennon on 11 yard touchdown pass from Damian Fleming and Chase Monador adds the extra point. It's 27 7, fam, you with 2.57 to play here in Savannah, Georgia. And Mike, just what the doctor ordered uh, for the rest of this second half of this 2013 football season. Here we go. Good return here. Oh boy, outstanding breaking tackles and now Jones penalty speed. markers on the play. Oh. And uh, yeah, that's an outstanding return by LaReginald Beal. Yeah, there's going to be there's another penalty marker that just went down. The one right here is going to be a face mask against the Rattlers. The second one we're not sure about. Well, next week the Rattlers return home after a rather lengthy road trip uh, to play the Howard Bison. A two-game homestand coming up, Mike Carr. Uh, Howard for homecoming, and then the Aggies of North Carolina a and the following week. Yeah, and we owe Howard from last homecoming. Yeah. Yeah, the face mask is a personal foul, and it will be a 15-yard mark-off against the Rattlers with 2 minutes and 42 seconds remaining in the ballgame. 
But Mike, uh, let's give Savannah State some credit. This is not the Savannah State that uh, we've been used to seeing uh, in more recent uh, years. No, and uh, and they lost Bostic, who I see has come back into the ball game here late. Uh, he missed most of this second half, yeah. and actually, boy, without the drop down uh, near the goal line, this could have been a tighter game. Yeah. Yeah, Antonio Bostic back at the controls now. Leon Prunty on the sideline. This Boy. pass is nearly picked off. In great position yeah, was Terry, Terry Johnson. Johnson. He jumped Terry right. has two picks already on the season. Had he made that one, he would have been tied with Patrick Aiken with three on the season. I think William Small is pretty much wrapped up our yeah, defensive no player question of the about game. It. William Smalls is our defensive player of the game. And here we go. Antonio Bostic looking to pass. That pass is caught out here by Simon Hayward at the Rattler 39-yard line. And it's Patrick Aiken, Aiken on, the on the stop. Um, what about uh, offense, Mike? Uh, Lamont Bice had a great night running the football and scored a touchdown. Was, uh, actually, the rushing totals are pretty close. Damian Fleming, the leading rusher. Okay. This pass is caught by yep. looks like number 85. Yep. Lamont Bice. Ed Lackey. He has 10 carries, 58 yards. Damian Fleming has 67 yards and 9 carries. And uh, Mike Burst, 48 yards and 14 carries. Only Bice has the touchdown. Only Bice score. Well, Damian has uh, tossed two touchdown passes, so let's go with Damian Fleming. Damian Fleming is our offensive player of the game. And here we go. Quarterback Antonio Bostic keeps. And, boy, still on his feet. Fights his way down inside the 25 to about the 23-yard line with a minute 23 to play. Yeah, clock running down. The Tigers still fighting, though, trying to get another score on the board. Well, we got to decide who's our special teams player of the game. Huh? That yeah, could be interesting. Terry? Yeah, Terry Johnson has done a Terry nice Johnson? job. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. yeah, he ran it back to punt return. 63 yeah. yards for the score. So it's Terry Johnson. Oh, they got a uh, man boy, at the 10-yard line. Caught, spinning and turning, still on his feet. And that pass is caught. Outstanding run after catch by Jeremy Moore. And takes it down to the seven-yard line. So Terry Johnson is our special teams player of the game. So we've got our players of the game. Elton Gumbel will be talking to him uh, at least maybe two of the three, hopefully all three, in our post-game show. Damian Fleming, William Smalls defensively, and uh, Terry Johnson. This pass is caught, and that's a touchdown for Savannah State. That pass... Is that uh, that's number 22, Daquan Daniels. Daquan Daniels. Daquan Daniels goes in from eight yards out to cut the lead to 27-13, but there's only 39 and a half seconds to go. It's a little too little too late as the Rattlers will pick up their second win of the year. McCarthy on to attempt the point after. Snap placement kick is on the way and good. And so with 39.5 seconds remaining, uh, the Rattlers lead by 13 again, 27 to 14. And we'll be back after these words from our local sponsors on the Rattlers Sports Network. And uh, McCarthy tries to squib it. And Boy, the ball's, the ball's on the field, but the Rattlers. Looks like Patrick Aiken. Alertly comes up and recovers. We'll have the football at the 40 three-yard line of Savannah State with 36.4 seconds remaining. Our players of the game, Damian Fleming, Mike, uh, his numbers again. 11 of 18, uh, passing for 136 yards, and he ran nine times and picked up 67 more. Two touchdowns uh, and through the air. And two touchdowns on defense. William Smalls. William Smalls with eight solo tackles, a total of 10, and uh, had one, had two tackles for loss. And on special teams, it's Terry Johnson with the 62-yard return. Rattlers are in 
the victory formation, something we haven't had a chance to do very much. Yeah. And with that in mind, we'll say hi to Reverend R.B. Holmes, Jr. I know he was praying for a victory tonight. And I'd like to say hi to Reverend Devin Wright, the pastor at uh, Mount Zion Primitive Baptist Church out in the Macon community. He's a Florida State man, but we're going to convert him. Yeah, with that knee, I don't think the Rattlers have to snap the ball again. Well, yeah, they haven't. They're going to go ahead and hold this clock so that the Rattlers won't have to snap it again. As the clock now down 18 seconds. And the Rattlers will go to two and four. Two and four on the year. Six seconds remaining. Clock is ticking down. And uh, Damian Fleming and the Rattlers will not take it. That's going to be the end of the ball game. FAMU 27, Savannah State 14, and we'll be back with our Tallahassee Democrat Rattler Wrap-Up Show after these words from our network sponsors on the Rattler Sports Network. Metron